Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Uh, today is another episode of the Behootiful 12 Project Collab that I am doing with Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts. Um, her link is always going to be down below for the rest of the year. Um, it is a year-long collab that we've been doing, and Jeanette do, does one month, I do the next month, and we are doing patterns or tutorials. So um, I have a playlist down below if you want to check out all the past ones that we've done. But this month is my turn. So I am doing a tutorial on some leg warmers called the Bubblegum Leg Warmers. So if you are interested in that, winter's coming. So um, stay tuned and uh, let's go. Fluff. <laughs> Hi Yarnabees, how are you today? Today I am going to show you how to make the bubblegum leg warmers. And unfortunately my camera can't get up big enough. There we go. <laughs> um, and this is a really easy pattern if you know how to do the cross, the cross double crochet and the bubble stitch. So there's just a few decreases in here and that's it. So shall we get started? Okay, what you're going to need, whoops, I'll bring you down, is I am using a bul bulky five weight yarn, okay? This is Yarn B, my sweet love. Okay, you can use any bulky five. Uh, you could probably even use a four. But if you use a four, then you're going to have to do a different hook size and your stitch count's going to be different. So, <clears throat> okay. Um, this is 100%, or no, it's not. <laughs> it's 92% acrylic, 8% polyamide. There's 94 yards, 86 meters, 100 grams. Okay, now I am going to be using oops, my 8 millimeter hook. Okay, and you're going to need a couple of stitch markers just in case. Okay, okay, so let's get started. Okay, you're also going to need a measuring tape. Forgot to tell you that. So what we're going to do first off is we are going to measure the thickest part of our calf. Okay, now mine was 14 inches. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do a chain that is that matches the amount of inches that your calf is. Okay, now you might want to do, do it one, like a half an inch to an inch smaller um, because this pattern grows a little bigger. Um, so you don't want it to be too loose, but you don't want it to be too big either. Okay. So just measure out the thickest part of your calf and then make a chain to match what you've got. Okay, so I did, for mine, because my calf was 14 inches, I did 34 stitches. Okay. So... Okay, you're going to keep going until you get to the length that you need it. And I'll meet you back here when you're done. Okay, so I've got my chain. Now, depending on your calf size, it took me 
about one and not even a half balls to do one um, one leg warmer. So I would buy four um, just to make sure. Okay. All right. So here's my 13 because my calf was 14 so I'm going to go down a little bit. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to join. Make sure this is not twisted. And you're going to join it to the first chain that you did. Okay. Okay. I'll bring you in a little bit. Okay, chain up two. Okay. And you're going to go into, do a double, oh, yarn over, do a double crochet in each chain that you've got. Now, this first, whoops, <clears throat> that first chain up counts as a stitch. Okay. So that, that first chain up is your first stitch. And you should have 24 when you get all the way around to the other side. This is going to be difficult because it's hot in here and I'm sweating like crazy so my yarn is sticking to me. Ugh, I hate that feeling. But we will persevere. At least you don't get to see the sweat dripping off my chin. <laughs> Save you that horror. Okay. Okay. So you're going to do that all the way around. And I'm going to have 34, but you're going to have whatever number you you have in chains. Okay. Now make sure it's an even number. Okay. Your chain needs to be an even number and your <clears throat> double crochets need to be an even number. Okay. Okay. I'll see you when you get around. Okay. So we're at the end and I have 24 double crochets and in, that's including this first chain. You're going to go into that chain, the first chain, and you're going to slip stitch. Okay, and that's what you should have. All right, now you're going to chain up two. Okay, now what we're going to do is front post and back post. The first chain that we did right here is going to be considered a back post. Okay, it's going to sink to the back. Now, if you if you're not sure that you have enough or like a, a, the right amount of double crochets to do front post front post and back post stitches, then you can go and count that first chain as a back post. Then you go front post, back post, front post back post and you go all the way around front post back post front post back post all the way until you get to this end okay and you should end on a front post okay now that will make more sense once we get going because if you end up having the wrong amount and you end on a back post then you're going to have two back posts and that's not what you want okay so chain two okay that's your first chain that you did you're going to skip that because that this is already on top of that one okay you're going to go to your next one and do a front post go underneath that post yarn over pull it through 
and finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go in behind the next one, go up and over, pull it through, and finish your double crochet. I'm going to assume that you guys know how to do front posts and back posts. <laughs> okay, um, go underneath, do a front post. The next one, do a back post. Front post. Back post. Okay. And you're going to do this all the way around. Okay. And you're going to end on a front post. So that's what it's going to look like. You can see it's all bulged up here. Okay. And I will see you when you get to this side. Okay, so I'm finished. I ended on my front post. This is an automatic back post. You don't have to do anything with it. You're going to go to your <coughs> the top of your chain that you started with here. And you're going to slip stitch. Okay, that's the first part of your ribbing. Chain up two. Then you're going to do front post on your front post back post on your back post okay go in between here and over oops come on finish a double crochet okay do your front post here your back post and don't go down here because that's not where you're supposed to be make sure that you go up here in this stitch not that stitch this stitch okay up here front post and Make sure you're up on the top. Back post. Okay, you're going to go all the way around and then slip stitch to the top here. And then you're going to do one more round. So you're going to have three, <coughs> three rows of front post, back post. I think I did, no, sorry, two rows. So this will be your last, last row of front post, back post. Okay. Okay. And you're just going to keep going around until you get to the other side. And I'll meet you there. Okay. I'm at the end. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain. I'm going to chain up two. Okay. Now we're going to do the crisscross double crochet. Okay, I'm going to bring you in just a little bit more. Oops. Okay. So here's your starting chain. Here's your stitches. Okay. These are the tops of your, of your stitches. Okay. You're going to skip this one. You're going to go into the next one. Yarn over, do a double crochet into that second stitch. Okay. Yarn over. Now you're going to go back to that first stitch that you skipped. You're going to go into that stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, and that's your first crisscross stitch. Okay, skip this stitch, go into this next stitch, do a double crochet. Okay. 
yarn over, go to that stitch that you skipped, and do a double crochet. Oops. Okay, there's your second crisscross. Skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch, <coughs> excuse me, go into this second stitch, double crochet. Yarn over, go back and go into that stitch that you skipped and do a double crochet. And you're going to make sure that when you're going into the back, the stitch that you skipped, you're not going into the stitch that you've already done. Okay, I'll do it one more time. This is the stitch you've already done. Skip this stitch, go into the next stitch, double crochet. Yarn over, go into that stitch you skipped, not this one into the stitch that you skipped and do a double crochet. Okay, and you can do that all the way around until you get to the end and I will show you how to finish off this row. Okay, so I've done my last crisscross Okay, you're not going to do anything with this stitch here because that's part of this um, chain. Okay, I have 16, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now your count is going to be different. Okay. Um, but if you're doing it exactly the way I'm doing it um, for a 14 inch calf, then you're going to have about 16. Okay? You're going to go up to the top of the chain space, or the chain that you did, and slip stitch. Okay? All right, now you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work. Okay? Now we're going to start the bobble stitches. We're going to do one right in here. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go into that hole, pull up your yarn, don't do anything with it, yarn over, go back into that hole, go in, pull up your yarn, and one more time. Yarn over, go back into that hole, pull up your yarn, and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Okay, now you're going to go into that next stitch right here and you're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull th whoops, <laughs> I'm trying to do this in the camera. Pull through, okay? And that is what's going to make your bobble pop out, okay? All right, so now you're going to go into that next space. We're working in all these spaces, okay? Yarn over, go into that next space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into that space again, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into that space, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all. Okay, you're going to go into that next 
with that next um, stitch and you're going to pull up a loop and pull it through slip stitch. Okay now if you're having problems pulling through all of those it means that your stitches are too tight. Okay you want to do this <clears throat> loose enough that you're going to be able to get your I I struggled with bobble stitches for so long because my stitches were too tight and it took me a long time to figure out that I have to loosen up my grip. <laughs> so when you're doing this just be really loose okay just don't be like on a, a tight grip on your hook and if you are one of the tricks that I know that I do is you yarn over you go in pull up a loop flick your hook up okay so it gives you that extended hoop loop okay because when you extend your loop and you go to grab your yarn your finger whatever finger you're using is like it's going to end up pulling it anyway so if you give it a little bit of room then it works out pretty good okay so just make sure that you're not too loose but loose enough that you can get the hook through yarn over pull up yarn over pull up yarn over pull up seven on your hook okay make sure that you've got room in there yarn over pull through all go to your next stitch and slip stitch okay see okay and you're going to keep doing this all the way around yarn over pull up yarn over go in pull up you're doing this three times yarn over go through pull up and pull through all yarn over pull through go into the next stitch and slip stitch okay all right so keep doing that all the way around and I believe I should have 16 baubles I think I believe <laughs> I'll count them when I get to the end. Okay, so I will meet you at the other end. I think I accidentally showed you. I think <laughs> I think I accidentally put a um, chain in here on that last clip. You're not supposed to. Once you've pulled your yarn through, you just go right into that stitch and do a slip stitch. Because when I did it, I think I should... I I think I did this. Pull through. Oops. And I think I did that. And then I went in. Don't do that. <laughs> That's. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Um, but it's just, just not going to make your bobble pop as much. Okay. Just thought I'd tell you that. So you go one, two, three, pull your yarn through, and then go right into that next stitch and do a slip stitch. Okay? Okay, I'll see you when I get around. <laughs> okay, so I'm finished all my bobble stitches. That's what it looks like. Okay. Now, you're going to go oops, into the top of that first bobble stitch that you did and you're going to slip stitch to the top there. Okay, you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work around again so the bobbles are facing you and then we're going to start doing the double crochet or the uh, cr crisscross double crochet. Okay now if you look at the top of your bob bobble stitch, you're going to have two stitches. You're going to have one directly 
above your bobble stitch and one right beside. Okay, those are the two that we're going to be working into. Okay, there's the top of that bobble and there's a stitch beside. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that first stitch, you're going to go into that next stitch and you're going to do your double crochet. Okay, yarn over. Now go back into the top of that bobble where there's that stitch right there. Pull up and do your double crochet. Okay, and that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so there's your next stitch and there's the stitch after that. Okay, those are the two stitches that you want. This one's already worked into. Skip this stitch. Go into this stitch. Do a double crochet. Yarn over. Now go back into that stitch in the top of the bobble. Okay. And do your double crochet. Your next bobble. Skip that stitch on the top of your bobble. Go to the stitch beside the bobble. Oops, I forgot to yarn over. <laughs> and do a double crochet. Yarn over. Go into the stitch at the top of the bobble. And do your double crochet. Okay. And that's what it's going to look like. All right. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. And this is another reason why you don't want to do your bobbles too tightly because you want to be able to get into that top stitch right there. Okay. You want to be able to get right into there. Okay, skip that stitch, go into your next stitch, double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch above the bobble, and double crochet. Oops. Easy for me to say. <laughs> oh. oh, my dog's chasing something outside as per usual. Okay, so there you go. So keep going and I will see you at the other side. I'm gonna go see what my dog's gonna be doing. <laughs> okay, I'm at the end of my row. I have one more bobble. Okay, so we're gonna go into this stitch right here. That's at the end of Normally you don't work in that stitch, but because there's a bobble here, we're going to. So we're going to go into that stitch. Do your double crochet. Yarn over. Go back into the stitch that's on the top of your bobble. And finish your double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to slip stitch at the top of that chain. Okay, and chain two. Okay, and this is what it should start to look like. Okay. All right. Now at this point you could probably put it on your leg and make sure it fits all good. But if you did your um, measuring properly, it should. Okay, now we're doing the bobble stitches again, so we're going to flip our work, work on the back side. We're going to go into that first, here's, here's your chain, we're going to go into that first space, 
and do your first bobble. Oops. One, two, three. Yarn over and pull through. Go into that next stitch and slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to go into that next space. Remember, we're working in all these spaces right here. Go in one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through, go into that next stitch, and slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to keep doing what we're, we were doing on that last the last bobble stitch row. Okay, and that's what it's going to start to look like. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse right there. <laughs> Okay, go into the next space. One, two, three, turn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, and slip stitch. Okay, we're going to do that all the way around. And I will meet with you, oops, when you get to the other side. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you what to do then. Okay, so I'm finished that row. Now I'm gonna attach it to that top of that chain and slip stitch. Chain two, turn your work. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're going to do another cross stitch row, or uh, crisscross double crochet row. Okay. So we're going to skip this this one. This isn't part of it. Here's the two stitches that you're working into. Okay. Yarn over. Skip one. Go into the next stitch, double crochet, yarn over, go into the top of the stitch on that bobble, double crochet. Skip this stitch on top of the bobble, go into the stitch that's beside it, go into the stitch that's on top of the bobble, and do your double crochet. Okay, we're going to do that all the way around again. And then, when you're done, you're going to go and do another bobble stitch row. So you're going to have three bobble stitch rows. Alright. So, keep going, doing this. And then do another bobble stitch row after that. And once you're done, oops, once you're done that, come back and I will tell you what to do after that. Don't forget, when you turn your work, you, when you're doing your bobble stitch row, when you finish this row, you do your bobble stitch row, you're going to turn your work again. Okay, and when you do turn your work, make sure that you go into that that first, um, what do you call it? <laughs> that first space. Okay, don't skip that. So, okay. Okay. All right. So, finish this row, then do your bobble stitch row, and I will meet you back when you're done. Okay, so I'm at the end of my bobble stitch row, 
And what the heck did I just do here? Okay. <laughs> I'm at the end of my bobble stitch row. And I'm going to slip stitch to the first bobble stitch. Okay. Chain two. Turn your work. All right. Now, I'll bring you out just a little bit here. Okay. <clears throat> now you've got three bobble stitch rows. All right. Now, if your calf is the same width all the way down, like if you've got edema or if you've got a thicker calf all the way down, you're not going to do decreases, okay? You're just gonna keep going the same way that we've been doing. Do your cross stitch, or um, cross double crochet, crisscross double crochet row, and your bobble stitch row, and your crisscross double crochet row, and a bobble stitch row, until you get to the length that you want it, okay? Um, but keep in mind that we are going to be doing a cuff at the bottom. So you're going to need about an inch before you get to the bottom of where you want it. All right. But if your calf is smaller on the bottom, then you're going to do a couple of um, decreases. Okay. So make sure that you keep trying your, your um, leg warmer on. To find out where, because right about this length is about where my calf starts to starts to decrease. Okay, um, so um, this is where I'm going to start my decreases. Okay, now I'm going to put a stitch marker here around this post so that I know that's where I started my decrease. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start doing another crisscross double crochet row. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing as we always have, except like our decreases are going to be on our bobble stitch row, not this row. Okay, so we're, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to go into, skip this stitch, go into the next stitch, do your double crochet, go back into this stitch, and finish your double crochet. Oops. Let's try that again. Go into that stitch, finish your double crochet. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep doing that. Skip the stitch, go into the next stitch. Do a double crochet, go back into that stitch on the top, do a double crochet, keep going all the way around. Okay, now make sure that you count how many bobble stitches you have on this row. Okay, I have 16. All right, because when you do your next bobble stitch row, you're going to lose one of your bobbles. So you want to make sure you know how many bubbles you have on this row that you're going to be decreasing at. Okay. All right. So just continue doing your cr uh, crisscross double crochet all the way to the end. And then I'll show you how to start your decrease. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay. I'm at the end of my row. I have one more bobble left. So I'm going to skip that stitch. Go into that stitch. Oops. Yarn over. Go back into the stitch that I skipped. And finish my double crochet. Okay, now you're going to go and join to that first one that you started and slip stitch. Okay, chain two, turn your work. Okay, now this is where you're going to decrease. Okay, so 
normally we would go in here and we would start our bobble. We're not going to do that. We're going to go into the next one and start our bobble there. Okay? So skip, skip over this one and go into this one and start doing your bobble. The same way we've been doing it. Okay. So now you've just done your done a decrease. All right. You're going to go into the next one. Do your bobble. Go into the stitch and slip stitch. Okay. You're going to keep doing your bobbles all the way around. Okay. Okay. You're going to go all the way to the other end. And I'll see you when you get back. Okay. I'm at, <coughs> excuse me, I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that last chain and chain two. Now I'll have 15 bobbles now instead of 16. So now you're going to turn your work and you're going to start your crisscross Crisscross applesauce, <laughs> crisscross double crochet row, and then you're going to do your bobble stitch row, and then your crisscross double crochet row, and you should have 14. You're going to do three more rows or two more rows of the bobble stitches, <coughs> right? So you're going to have your first set of um, your decrease, then you're going to have a crisscross row. Then you have have another bobble stitch row with your decrease um, in it, then a crisscross row, and then one more bobble stitch row. Okay, with the decrease. All right, so you're going to have three rows of the decrease. You're not going to be decreasing anymore. You're just going to keep with the same amount of bobbles that you have on this row. Okay. So mine is, what did I say, 15? So I'm going to have three, three bobble stitch rows of 15 bobbles. Okay, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so do your crisscross double crochet row. Okay, and when, <clears throat> when you finish that, you're going to do your next bobble stitch row. I'm going to show you how to start your next bobble stitch row so you know because you're going to be going into that first stitch again. I'll come back and show you. Just do your crisscross row and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finished my crisscross row. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch Double cro uh, two double crochets, two double crochets, chain two, <laughs> good grief, <clears throat> turn your work, excuse my, I had to change my ball, um, add my yarn, so I'll weave that in later. Okay, now we're going to start a bobble stitch row. Now, last time we skipped this one because we were doing a decrease and we went into this one. You're not going to do that. The only time that you skip this one is when you're do doing a decrease. Okay, so you're going to start your bobble stitches in this first hole. And slip stitch. Okay. 
I'm going to go into the next one and do your bobble. And oh, slip stitch. Okay, so then you're going to do those bobbles all the way around. Okay, and then you're going to do your next row of um, crisscross double crochet, and then you're going to do the next row of bobble stitch. And you're going to remember when you're doing that bobble stitch, you're going to go into that first hole. You're not going to skip over it. You're going to go into the first hole. Okay. And when you're finished, you should have three bobble stitch rows from this stitch marker. Okay. Okay. I will see you when you're finished your next two rows. Okay, so I finished my last bobble stitch round. I'm going to slip stitch to the top <coughs> and chain two. Okay, now you can see, oops, I'm going to bring you out a little bit. Here's the stitch marker where we started doing our decreases, and I've got one, two, three bobble stitch rows of decrease. Okay, so I started off with 16 bobble stitches here. Now I've got three rows of 15 bobble stitches. Okay, now we're going to do one more row of um, crisscross double crochets. Okay, so we've attached our yarn and um, did two chains. Now we're going to turn our work. Okay, now we're going to start doing our crisscrosses again. Skip one, go to the next one, do our double crochet, go back into the one that we skipped, and do our double crochet. Skip one, go over, do our double crochet, go back to the one that we skipped, do our double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to go all the way around and I will meet you at the end and then we're going to do another decrease. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain, chain up two, flip your work. Okay, now we're going to, you're going to try it on. And if you don't feel like you need to do any more decreases, then don't. Just continue on um, <clears throat> until, like, keep doing your rows until it gets to the length that you need it. Um, but remember, we need an extra inch for the cuff. Okay? But if you do need it decreased again, then we're going to do just the same as we did with the last decrease. And bringing you in and instead of going into that first hole we're going to skip it and go into the next one and do our bobble stitches one two three pull through go on the next one slip stitch <coughs> okay so, whoops, so there you go. You skipped that one, you went into the next one. Okay, and that is your decrease. Okay, so in this next row, I should have 14 bobble stitches by the time I'm, dif I'm finished. But yours will probably be different. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Um, okay, so you're going to go and do your next set of bobble stitches. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> and then you're going to do 
your next after this you're going to turn your work again do your crisscross double crochets then you're going to do your next row or turn your work again do your next row of bobble stitches and don't forget when you're doing your bobble stitch you're going to go into that that hole this time okay for the next two sets of bobble stitches don't skip over it and do the decrease okay you want them to be you want to have the same amount of bobble stitches all the way around for the next two sets of bobble stitches okay so you're going to do that all the way around and when you're finished your next couple of rows I will come back and show you what to do next okay so I'm finished my three rows of um, crisscross double crochet and bobble stitch rows so I'm going to join oops to the top of that first row and chain two okay so you've got three rows three bobble stitch rows of the first set three bobble stitch rows of your first decrease and then three bobble stitch rows of your second decrease. Okay, now all we have to do is the cuff, which is exactly done the same way as this cuff. So, bring you in. We are going to go into every stitch and do a double crochet. So we're gonna go into the top of this stitch, the bobble stitch, and do a double crochet. Go into the stitch beside it, do a double crochet. Go into the top of the next bobble, do a double crochet. Go into the next stitch, double crochet, and we're gonna do this all the way around. And we want to make sure that we have an even amount of stitches. Okay. And don't forget this chain, this first chain that you did counts as a stitch. Okay. So you're going to make sure you count. This is going to be your back post stitch that you're not going to work. Then it's going to be a front post, a back post, a front post, a back post, all the way around. So you got to make sure that you've got enough stitches so that at the end here you don't have two back post stitches. Okay. So continue around and we'll count our stitches. Okay. So I've gone all the way around. Excuse me, I have 28, row, 28 uh, double crochets. Yours might be different, but as long as they are at, um, an even number, you should be fine. So we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch, chain up two, <coughs> and then we're going to skip this stitch because this, this stitch is going to be your back automatic back post. Okay, so you're going to go into the next stitch and do your front post. Go into the next stitch, back post. Next stitch, front post. Next stitch, back post. You're going to do this all the way around. And when you're done, you're going to do one more row like this. You're going to do the front posts and the front posts, back posts and the back posts. And then you're done. And then you're going to fasten off. Okay. Okay, all right, so you're gonna do 
Wait a minute. Am I going to do? Yes, I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going, wait a minute. How many, how many stitches did I do here? Yeah, I'm going to do one more row. <laughs> okay. All right. So I will see you when you're done. Okay. They are done. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I know I enjoyed doing them. And they actually, once you get the hang of it, they work up really quickly. So, um, if you make these, I would love to see yours. If you want to post them in my Facebook group and my social media. That would be wonderful. I would love to see what colors you do, what kind of yarn you use, um, and tell me what you think of the tutorial. Okay, so thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.